Hi and welcome to day 16 of Inktober Tangles Challenge 2022. I'm Anita Siziti from Croatia. Join me as I draw a tangle by Susan Yeo today. It's called Dinovel. I'm not sure if I pronounced it right, but it doesn't matter. Um, it's a floral tangle, another floral one which is kind of roundish in shape. So we go from, you know, uh, ribbon tangles like this to floral tangles to some that are elongated, different shapes, different styles, which is what really makes this interesting. And this one starts with three petal shapes. And I will just go ahead and bravely draw them with my pen. And you can see how imperfect or how perfectly imperfect they are so now i'm going to draw some folds let's see and you know i will just draw them i'm using this angle exactly how it's shown in the step out and after doing this i'm going to draw three new petal shapes that are on the sides like this so i'm basically connecting this one will be a little bigger because these two smaller petals are further away apart from each other so yours might be different than mine again drawing this kind of a fold and then I will add some petals, so, or not the petals, hmm, I, I wonder what this thing in the middle of the flower is called, I'm not even sure, let me just refocus this, okay, so, drawing these, I don't know what the name of it is, I'm sorry to say I don't know the English word. I'm not sure that I even know the creation word. I'm not much of a florist. So excuse me for not knowing the terminology or the anatomy of a flower. I added them in all of the petals, although if you know the step out say that it's only added in these three but you know i'm trying to do my own thing i think i will add another one maybe a little bit smaller than the first one so three petals to start with then just connect them it's really an easy one well i usually draw them so that they go over each other which i didn't do now but you can do it any way you prefer. And then the fold. This one is really small. I think it's too small. I mean, for my style of tangling, it's not something that I do often, but this is why this looks like it's created by somebody else. It's really a strange, you know, feeling. I'm going to maybe add some orbs around you know, where my petals meet. It's not a part of the official step out, but I'm taking the liberty to do it the way I want to, which is a part of the freedom of the creative process. So I would encourage you to do the same. I will also add some more petals to the small one. Why not? Because why not? I'm just connecting the petals again. And I think now I'm done with this line work. I'm going to maybe add a few roundings 
here and there and add lines on top and as I'm adding lines I'm focusing on each one of them breathing just enjoying this mindful activity but when I finish with it I need to put my thinking cap on <laughs> and decide what to do with shading these flowers so in the step out it's suggested to color these um, folds with black ink so to ink them in but I'm thinking about a different approach so I'll first add the shades next to my petals you know to kind of try to give an illusion that the three ones are on top of the other ones the small ones are on top of the big ones let's say and then I will add shade right next to this fold I will also add shade to the top part of this section between the tangles. And now I will take the blending stamp and first do this blending and then decide about the next steps. And you can see that I only uh, applied shades to the bigger ones so far and then I will see if you know maybe because the smaller one is so small maybe I will change the approach but maybe not I'll see if this one works so instead of inking in these folds I'm sh sh I'm shading <laughs> the place next the places next to the folds and highlighting the folds so I'm kind of doing the reverse thing from what's suggested in the step outs And I think that I need some shade here in the middle, I don't know why, which will basically leave me without any space to add the highlights in the small petals because they are so small. And of course I might blend this, but it's almost not like highlighting but coloring it with, with white. And then I will put some shade to the bottom part of these orbs, blend it and add a few highlighting dots to the top part. Looking for my Jelly Roll 10 to do the dotting thing. Okay, so the first one is done. And now I'm thinking if I should maybe try the opposite on the other one or just do what I did here. I'm actually not sure what I should do. So I will just, with my white jelly roll, Add some more whiteness to these folds.
maybe let's do the opposite just for the sake of you know variety so one flower will have white folds another one will have black folds and then I will see what I'll do with the shading and highlighting in this small one there's you know the space is so small and narrow that I don't have too much space to add some very elaborated shades let's say and highlights and just some really subtle ones and then the blending and maybe maybe not even with my pencil because the spaces are so narrow I will just add some whiteness below the shade or below the fold yeah that's that's what I wanted to say you know the baby flower kind of cute so at least we have two different approaches and two different flowers so you can decide maybe which one you prefer and maybe play with it a little bit more and for me that's it for today thank you again for drawing with me i will see you tomorrow bye